A 20-year journey that has captured the minds and imaginations of people all over the world comes to an end. And liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion-mile trek to Saturn. Orbiting Saturn for 13 years, Cassini has brought us an up-close and personal look at the planet as part of a larger journey to understand our universe and our place within it. For centuries, people have been looking at the stars, getting bigger and better telescopes and bigger, better instruments. And we want to go see what's out there and understand as much as we possibly can. General Dynamics Mission Systems was an important part of the team that helped Cassini show all of us on the ground what's out there. Cassini was launched in 1997. It's been on orbit for 13 years. We take great pride in having the, the radio that has connected that probe and those, all those instruments and all that information back to Earth, back to where we receive the information that, that is making a difference. That radio is General Dynamics' deep space transponder. Weighing in at just nine pounds, the transponder is one of the most critical components of the 22-foot-tall, 12,000-pound craft. Its small stature was an engineering challenge. Our job was to take this room full of gear that had parts in it and put it in the size of half a shoebox. And it has to work for 10, 15, 20 years. You can't send a repairman out for it. Developed with NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, the Deep Space Transponder has been responsible for every communication between the Earth and Cassini. We are the only link between Saturn and the Earth. There is no other. All the spacecraft commands like to change the uh, computer program, to tell the cameras to point at this, to take a picture here, to do all the things. They uplink regularly different commands to the spacecraft computer to tell it what to do. And all of that stunning imagery? Without the powerful and precise communications link provided by the Deep Space Transponder, it would never have been seen by human eyes. Another challenge was developing a transponder that could withstand the rigors of deep space for a multi-year mission and continually perform 850 million miles from the Earth. General Dynamics Mission Systems will tell you that it was the strength of their team that made it happen. Having everybody working together is what makes it successful. We formed a, a, a real solid team with everybody pulling from the same side of the rope. And I think the most important thing was bridging a good, strong working relationship and teamwork with JPL. Cassini is hardly the company's first foray into space. GD has been in the space business for almost 60 years and GD has had these radios in space and many of the probes that were initially sent out to start to figure out what it would take for us to land on the moon. What made GD successful 60 years ago was innovation and solving hard problems. Solving the problem of sending voice from the moon down to Earth had never been done before. Breakthrough. More than 400 of the company's transponders have been included in missions to explore the vast reaches of our solar system. And now, the company is looking to what's next. What about 10 years from now? What are we gonna do in space? What is a space environment gonna look like 10 years from now? We expect to be there. We expect to continue our partnership with uh, NASA to be there and be providing those radios that'll provide the communications back to Earth. Even as the Deep Space Transponder transmits Cassini's final farewell, General Dynamics Mission Systems is dedicated to continuing their work to support the future of space exploration.